It is a popular saying that a lady society is a worthy one. On the Great Life Program, medical experts are available to provide solutions to various health challenges. You desire greatness in life. Successful men and women in the society are available on the Great Life Program to reveal to you the secrets to their greatness. The Great Mind of Nancy Oshubo is a much watch for all. Meet me on the program every Sunday between 3.30 and 4 p.m. Happy Sunday to you all. This is another educative moment with me, Bola or Lion Day, on the program that is mine. Management team of Osho Edisorans Agency has embarked on the accreditation and the accreditation of the facilities across the local government areas of the state. Reasons for this action, answers are provided in this budget. Among the objectives of Osho Edisorans scheme, here ensuring that every resident or for sure state as easy access to effective quality and affordable health care services protecting families from the financial hardship of huge medical bills containing the cost of health care services to attain efficiency ensuring equitable distribution of health care costs across different income groups maintaining high standard of health care delivery services within the health sector ensuring efficiency in healthcare delivery, improving and enhancing private sector participation in the provision of healthcare services, and also ensuring adequate distribution of health facilities within the state. Senior leadership and members of staff of Osho Health Insurance Agency are committed to the full realization of the aims and the objectives of the establishment of functional health insurance scheme, the management team of the agency, being led by the Executive Secretary, Dr. Asak Akitunde Akindele, has embarked on the accreditation and reaccreditation of the facilities that are providing healthcare services for the enrollees under functional health insurance scheme across the state. On the first day of the exercise, the team was at SWU Aqua Care Fertility and Women Health at Ayekale area in Ushudu, the state capital, where the team conducted thorough screening for the chief medical director of the hospital, Dr. Olusheji Atanda, and members of his staff to ascertain the reaccreditation of the facility. Being the head of the Department of Standard and Quality Assurance of Fortune Health Insurance Agency, on the arrival of the team at the facility, Dr. Shina Ibalai, however, explained to the Chief Medical Director of the hospital the basis of the reaccreditation exercise. <laughs> The process of that we made by after the questioning, the sites of documents following the to inspect the facilities. The Chief Medical Director of SWU AKK Facility and Women Health was thoroughly screened by the management of Ocean Health Insurance Agency, led by the Executive Secretary, Dr. Asak Akintode Akindele, who was on his appointment a consultant, gynecologist, and the head of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Union Ocean Teaching Hospital, the immediate past chairman of Nigeria Medical Association, NMA, Ocean State Chapter, and currently the chairman, National Committee on Ethics and Practice. 
Executive Secretary of Shwenti Soran Agency, Dr. Asak Akitunde Akilili, speaks further on the basis of the accreditation and reaccreditation of the facilities across the state. In our rule, after accrediting any facility, we have to go back there in two years to see that what we saw when we first gave the initial accreditation, which was temporary, you see what is there, or there has been an improvement. Uh, you remember that we have always said it, that we want our enrollees to have the best of treatment in our know, state. We don't want to leave any stone on time. We have to ensure that the facilities are up to date and they are providing the required treatment for the enrollees when they come. So we are going around all our over 100 accredited facilities, both private and public hospitals, to see that they have up-to-date equipment, uh, drugs, personnel to take care of our enrollees so that uh, it will be justified uh, the money they are paying that they are getting good return for, the, for their uh, premium. So that's the reason for us going around now. And we're going to touch all the uh, facilities to make sure that they are up-to-date. The Chief Medical Director of SW Equal Care Facility and Women Health has this to say. I think it's a good thing because you know even individually, personally, we must always update ourselves and do training and retraining. So if we do a reaccreditation, I think it is in the interest of healthcare of all and we'll put health facilities also on their toes so that people can continue to do what they are supposed to do always so that the citizenry in Ocean State will always get the best of health care. Dr. Rauf Olaleri at DBC, the head of the Department of Planning, Research and Statistics, he is a member of the team assigned for the accreditation and reaccreditation of the facilities. Yes, you asked about the, what brought about the, uh, our you know, activities uh, today. Uh, we thank God that we have the uh, executive secretary with us to actually uh, go around the facility. Uh, today we went to uh, SWU Aqua, one of the uh, accredited uh, facilities. 
in a law that established our uh, the hot rate of sweat is other agency, uh, there should be a reaccreditation exercise after uh, two years. And that is what we are doing. The initial one is just the template, it's just a, a baseline that uh, we need to follow. During that exercise, we there may be something that is missing, which will inform the facility that uh, within a relative short time when we started the pain competition and the fee for surface, you should be able to get it like if such a facility has no uh, adequate uh, uh, light or adequate water supply, you should be able to do that. But we now give a chance of two years, that's why we are going around, to actually see whether there is an improvement uh, on the what initial uh, accreditation uh, exercise that we did a uh, few years ago. So, today's exercise was very, uh, it's a good outing. Uh, because we have, as I've said, have an issue that we have the executive secretary on ground with us and uh, the other team uh, members of the accreditation technical uh, crew are there to look around the hospital and see what are the things on ground in terms of personnel, in terms of equipment, in terms of uh, uh, the, 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 the nursing dressing, instrument and the likes. So we look into it and uh, uh, we have to score all the hospital their percentage but any hospital that fall below the you know the, our, our accredited uh, standard may have uh, be, may be warned if he has some percentage that is very that at the borderline but if it is below that borderline we may likely uh, remove or inform that hospital that they are only as we move to another one hospital based on the fact that they uh, was unable to you know, uh, comply with the rule and regulation of the agency and uh, we don't want a situation where our enrollee will be complaining that uh, this hospital is not performing, they are doing this, they are abusing, they do doing full take care, the waiting period is around the one or two hours before you can see doctor and sometimes they uh, go to a facility and there's no doctor on grant. And what about the, the, the drug given? Uh, what are they, how are the nurses behaving? So today we are able to do that. We are able to look into the file too. And see whether it is actually they, they are using the correct diagnosis. Thank God today we have a pharmacist and we have a three medical doctor as the technical crew. So we look at the what the diagnosis, whether it is actually in tandem with what what is you know wrong with the patient. And we look at the drug, uh, the essential drug that we said they should be uh, providing for the what for our enrollee. So the exercise today was uh, uh, a good one, uh, and the hospital that we went to actually perform to certain extent, although we are still working on the you know, percentage of on the, uh, that we have on the checklist. Pam Olasukon Misumonu is the director of programs of Shumaiti Solans Agency and also a member of the team for the accreditation and accreditation of the facilities being engaged for the provision of healthcare services for the enrollees under Shumaiti Solans scheme. Sato Trilly. The first accreditation we did is not two years ago, it's five years ago. Yes, we have done it five years ago, but statutorily, according to the law establishing the agency, the one you did five years ago is the preliminary accreditation for healthcare facilities. At the end of that exercise, we gave all of them professional accreditation. Is there a full flight accreditation? But we are supposed to go back two years as the full accreditation exercise. The initial one we did was to assess the hospital. What do they have? It's like a supportive supervision. Whatever they don't have at that time, we gave them a time. You are going to acquire this before the end of one year. We are going to do this before the end of two years. We, when we now go back for the full accreditation, if those conditions are not met, you disaccredit the, the facility. This exercise is to confirm what we agreed to ab initio when we gave them professional accreditation. This exercise we are starting now is a confirmation of full accreditation. Not everybody that has professional accreditation will qualify for full accreditation. 
and so many of them will qualify for full accreditation after receiving capitation for more than one for more than two years to upgrade their facility in terms of human resources, infrastructure, and equipment for them to be able to carry out full healthcare delivery for our air release. I want to tell you how long I see that I never expected SW Aqua to even pass. The first time we went there, the place was not so well organized as we met it today. So I remember that time, we only met two young girls on their table. And no other person in the hospital. Nobody was to answer out. It was when the doctor now rushed down here. We interview him. We know that it's a specialized care and he might probably improve. That was why we give the professional accreditation that time. But the access road is very better today. The organization of the hospital far, far better than what we met initially when we were there. So it's a confirmation of that our facilities are improving every day. The team assigned for the accreditation and reaccreditation of the facilities being led by the Secretary Secretary, Dr. Asak Akesude Akelele, is moving around the knocks and credits of the state for the exercise to ensure that the accredited hospitals are up to the standard to the utmost benefit of the enrollees under Ocean Health Insurance Scheme. Lara ilo gba idasile eto ido to fu ilera ni ipinle osun ni lati ri wi pe gbogbo ile ipinle osun mo ni afani si eto ilera to peye pelu owo perete lati da bobo awon edile kuro ninu an foro eni sofo lori ilera lati daju pe ko si oju saju ninu anfani ti awon olugbe ipinle osun ni si ilera to peye la la fi bori ti se se gola se fun eniyan se lawujo bo se je pe awon oludari ati ise ile ise ajo to fo ilera ipinle osun ni ifije si ere di idasile ajo to fo ilera ni ipinle osun eyi lo mu ki akowi agba ajo na dokita arasaki akitude akindele ko awon orudare e kan ka ajo na sodi lati kun le ifowosi ati atun fowosi awon ile iwosan to n pese to ira fun awon oluko pa ninu eto ijo to fo ilera kaakire ipinle osun ile iwosan kan to je pe idasile re Dalori Beninyo Shishele Dolomo Laye Atongo Botoni Shekwe Lu Ile Ra Amo Bune Ni Konon Koko Kansi Ni Pa Ti Konon Skule Si Ile Wosan Nan Ti Dokita Olu She Yatan Da Je Oga Gbori She Gun Onyi Bom Ni Pe Dokita Shina Igba Laye To Je Adare Eka To Wa Fun Ila Nan Te Le Ile She Aje To Fo Ile Ra Ipin Le Oshun Lo Koko Sa Laye Idi Ti Ikonon Fi Wa Si Ile Wosan Nan Fun if I was see, it was a no. At the last, it might be say, it is a fun. I want to go to the new. It will be a new. It is. I want to carry a cargo bunny leg share. I just want to feel like we're doing. So when you go now, it is. I go where I want to get to. I say, I go to the. I can't let go so deep. But it's not that I go to Iberi. Only run run. So don't get to. I buy it. It was a no. That is that you pay. But yeah, it was a no. So go do Oshuma. So if I was see, I just want to feel like that we go go do. Ojo <laughs> ni ipinle osun eh o je pe iwo san to to peye mo won gba lati be agbodo ri pe awon osise ton wa nbe won ko ju owo ogun to ye kan lo o wa nbe gbogbo awon orise to ye kan lo o wa nbe ka fi ri pe ilera wa ni ipinle osun gege bi gomiran wa se fe 
Ojo sun ati pe won ise won bi ise fun afani gbogbo olukopa ninu eto jojo fo ilera ka kere gbogbo ijoba ibile ni ipinle osun ndebi ti a ma fi ala pe to ro sini ni loni ede ke o si do p